Abel, South by Southwest expert panel. It's your old pal, Sean. And today, I'm talking with my new pal, Ellen Bailey. Ellen, how you doing? Doing good. Enjoying the weather. Loving South by Southwest today. It's good to be back. It's good to have South by back. Yes, uh, for sure. I'm glad you're here. Now, what have you been getting into during South by? Yeah. So I will say a little bit of everything, but uh, my focus today has actually been on just connecting with a lot of young professionals yeah. and uh, talking about how they can advance their career. Perfect. So yeah, I've been in a couple of different venues today. It's been great. What do those conversations look like? If someone comes to you and says, show me the way, Yeah. what do you, what do you guide them with? So I think there's one really important thing. I think that many times when you get hired by a larger company, yeah. um, you're not necessarily an insider. You didn't know an executive. They're not their, your, you know, your neighbor. Sure. And so you get in and you don't really understand how to navigate. Yeah. And people that have been referred in do know how to navigate because they're introduced to people. They got and it. so there's yeah. actually this gap between insiders and outsiders. Sure. And so I didn't get into, you know, being a people manager and some other things until I was in my late 40s. And I'm like, yeah. and I always thought, oh, you know, people labeled me as a late bloomer. Or I'm like, I guess I'm not smart enough because I didn't go to the Ivy League school. I'm not really sure. And re I realized later, it's like, no, actually, um, I am smart enough. Yeah. And I am good enough. Yeah. But I just didn't have these inside connections. Yeah, that's a good point. And so, um, so yeah, so I've been talking to uh, younger career folks about how to build their network and sure. how to navigate and so that's what we've been that's what i've been talking about lately that's gotta be a yeah. super rewarding feeling when you see that click for someone that yeah. wouldn't have had the opportunity before mm -hmm. i mean like wow it you're, is you're you really are opening up doors that people didn't realize were available to them it is um better than my day job right like yeah. it's super inspirational to yeah. see young folks succeed in advance doing whatever they want to do sure and so I always challenge people to think about where does your passion and your skill set intersect? And then from there, start laying out your career path. And it's, you know, it's cool to go to different events and to network. Sure. But um, my message is always like, be intentional about it. Like, really think about. We're not just hobnobbing. That's exactly right. right. It's great to like meet over a cocktail, be like, right, hey, right, let's right, bond right. over, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. football or whatever. But that's fun and yeah. that's cool. Wow. But like, you really need to be intentional and think about who do I need on my personal board of directors? Right. Like, who can really um, share and impart knowledge on totally. me? Who can help me advance in my career? And again, not necessarily upward, but just help you with what you're looking to achieve. Sure. And just being really intentional about that. And then leveraging those folks as your personal board of directors because they have knowledge and information you don't have. That's good. And so, uh, so yeah. So, like, I think if, if uh, we could all start doing that a little sooner versus then later, yeah. then um, we'll be a little bit happier earlier in our careers maybe. Totally. So, so let's say I'm, I'm an executive trying to figure out, like, hey, I, I realize I want to do better at giving opportunities to the next generation. Yeah. How can I be more aware? How can I do a better job of finding that talent and supporting that talent? Yeah, that's a fantastic question. And I, um, and I always think, you know, who am I missing, yeah. right? Like who is out there that we can continue to be helping? And I think there's two ways that you can go about doing that. And what I encourage my executives to do, and this is exactly what they do, yeah. is to actually start meeting with our younger talent one-on-one -on -one or in sure. small groups, especially our um, first generation and any young professionals yeah. of color. Um, because at Harvard Business Publishing, we're predominantly white. And so um, I'm afraid that our people of color might be left behind. Yeah. And I want to make sure that they get the attention they should. Definitely. So I think just having one-on-one -on -one conversations and getting to know people, like actually going to get coffee or meet for a cocktail, get out yeah. of the workspace. And then also, too, I challenge all of our employees to join organizations that they wouldn't have otherwise. Yeah. So what are some groups like, you know, they can have a presence on IBL, they can come to events sure. like this and meet people and get to know people that they wouldn't normally have met totally. in just their typical circle. Love that. And then you can identify folks. It's like, oh, wait, I can help you. Like yeah. I can coach you or I have this connection or whatever it might be. A lot of missing pieces we can tie together. Here. That's exactly right. So I always challenge people to find at least one person within your organization yeah. through just individual conversations and then um, outside of your organization, join a join a join a group you wouldn't have normally. I, I think that's really well said. How can how can people uh, get connected? What what can they support? What's the call to action here? Yeah, so the call to action is if you are a leader in an organization, yeah. make sure that you do reach down in your yeah. organization and like you that. support organizations that um, help 
first generation in particular, yeah. students uh, get into school and early career. And um, if you are one of those students and early career, then proactively, like just just go for it, take the risk, and yeah. start reaching out to people that you that you see on IBL. Start reaching out to people that you meet at networking events and ask yeah. them uh, to support you. Like just that. go for it. Love that. Absolutely. Well, uh, Ellen, you're obviously leading by example. Appreciate you being here. Thanks for taking time. You're wonderful. Uh, <laughs> give her some love on the Ible app. Anywhere else they can connect with you? So I'm on LinkedIn. I am Ellen Bailey, Texas. Wonderful. Ellen, it's a pleasure. Thanks for taking yeah. time for us today. Thank you. Appreciate you. Mm -hmm.